Today we are going to see about woofers in this video. Woofers. There are two types of low frequency speaker. The commonly known woofer and the more recent addition the subwoofer. The latter is used for the reproduction of frequencies below those produced by the woofer and it is generally purchased as an add-on to an existing system. The low frequency speakers provides the bass of any hi-fi system. Its sole purpose is to reproduce the low frequency notes of the program source. The figure shows the suspension of woofer diaphragm. For good reproduction, a woofer should have a large diameter stiff diaphragm, high compliances and a large voice coil. The low frequency speaker provides the bass of any hi-fi system. Its sole purpose is to reproduce the low frequency notes of the program source. The prime re request for low frequency reproduction is a large diaphragm. The larger the better. The smallest diaphragm for any halfway decent woofer is 8 inches. For a subwoofer it is 12 inches. In addition to large size, the diaphragm must be a fairly heavy construction. Light diaphragms just can't hold up under the vibrations encountered under the low audio ranges. A woofer must be able to vibrate back and forth very easily that is have high compliance. One way to accomplish this is to have the diaphragm loosely connected to the frame. The gasketing that holds the periphery of diaphragm to the frame basket is fastened so that it barely keeps the diaphragm from slipping loose but no more as shown in figure. With this construction it takes less force to move the diaphragm any particular distance. Rather than the loose suspension system, the cone is supported by a very flexible material so that it can be moved very easily by the voice coil. The suspension is tight but the sine wave at the diaphragm can be made very flexible. The large speakers have more extended lows, the smaller one more extended highs. A woofer must also have a large voice coil to handle considerable heat. The larger the voice coil, the more the current produced by the amplifier output circuit and therefore the more the power the woofer can handle. Finally, a strong magnet can be of great help to move the heavy voice coil and cone assembly too well. The better the woofer, the heavier the magnet assembly. To sum up, a good woofer must have a large heavy diaphragm, a strong magnet, high compliances and a large voice coil. Thank you. In the super, the large speakers have more extended lows, the smaller ones more extended highs. A woofer must also have a large voice coil to handle considerable heat. The larger the voice coil, the more the current produced by the amplifier output circuit and therefore the more the power the woofer can handle. To sum up, a good woofer must have a large heavy diaphragm, a strong magnet, high compliances and a large voice coil. In the woofer, a strong magnet can be of great help to move the heavy voice coil and cone assembly too well. The better the woofer, the heavier the magnet assembly. Thank you.